All right, um, this is uh, Rika Thomas, Scott Purcell. I'm going to record a little uh, walkthrough for Godfather to show him a few trips, tricks and tips I've um, found for working with the creation. All right, good. So I'll record this and um, put it on YouTube then. All right, so um, let's first go in and look. So you can see I am up to uh, 7-5, um, and but I do remember that level 4 was rather hard to get past. So uh, I think from the chat that you, you do know that what you should do when you get this is every time you've got stamina left, particularly before the end of the day, you want to go and burn that up on some of these previous levels. So right now I'm stuck on 7.5, but I could go here, except I've already done that today, zero times left of 10. And I can go back until I go back far enough that I've got some attempts left. So now I can, I've only got a stamina of seven, so I can do this once. And I'll get some loot, confirm it. You'll notice that some of what I got were these sealed uh, creation equipment scroll fragments. That's what we're looking for. So now I've got some additional fragments and I can, uh, all right, so let's take a look up here. Really the main thing that you want to be buying here, I always buy healing speed ups. I almost always buy artillery scrolls. Uh, once you get high enough, I don't really, uh, for a while I was buying the 12 hour attack and defense boosts, but those are the um, a lower percentage. Now I have available the solid defense and savage attack boost, and I, I buy those along with the 12 hour anti scout. About once a week, it lets me buy these temporary accolades, and I'll apply those uh, usually for events. Those are some really nice boosts uh, when you use all four of those. Um, and then when they are available, uh, I've now got all of my basic coat of arms, so I don't need any more of those, but I can now buy the uh, refined coat of arms. And so I do that every time I have the chance for that. And that's really what I spend all of these catacombs coins for, is just those things. And you can see there's several things that I have not yet been able to unlock, so that'll be later. So now let's go back to items. And here, the main thing that you're going to be looking for to get your creature past the, that level is the equipment. The first place you're going to see it is these fragments. And they'll start out here. These are level 15. There actually might have been some lower ones, but I don't get those anymore, so I don't know. I think there were some green ones at one point, but you get level 15 fragments, then you'll get level 25 fragments, then you'll get level 35 fragments, and uh, when you have a hundred of those, then you can synthesize, you know, slide that over so that it says one or more, and that's going to give you these uh, scrolls, and they'll be found later in your inventory. So down here, you can see the scrolls that I have, uh, and I've got level 15 scrolls, and these, uh, I'm sorry, these are designs. I've got level 25. I don't need any more of either of those, but I could use some more of these, okay? So um, what, I, what I would do to turn these into, so you, you turn a scroll into a design, and then you build the equipment from the design, so here, to turn the scroll into a design, I go to Use. It takes me to the Alchemy Chamber. I'll tap on the little floating plus, and there it shows me all the different designs that I could create from that scroll. And I've got several choices here. And uh, you'll notice that they're the same. They occupy the same spots in the um, uh, in the creature's armament. So this is a chest protector. This is a chest protector and this is a chest protector. And I think I've heard that they correspond to the three different types of 
talent trees that you can set up so that one set of armor corresponds to one of those trees, but I've not really been paying close attention to that. Rather, I've just been looking at the, the details for these. If you hit that information button, it's going to tell you about the stats that this piece of equipment brings to your creature. And uh, so I want to make sure that each spot on the creature's uh, armament is occupied by something. And once I have each spot occupied by something, then I can go back and look at alternatives. So do I like better what this does in terms of stats? 451 defense, 113 armor, 65 strength. Or do I like better what this one does for 70 defense, 118 armor? So you see it's just allocated differently. And this will allow me to have some alternative choices. So I can try it one way and change it out, try it another way. So I don't think I ever built one of these. So uh, I don't want to build another one of something I already have, but I think that's different. So I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm then create and it's now going to turn this into a design and now I'll go back to the armory and now if I look at equipment this is where I can see what I currently have if I go to designs these are the things that I can build here is the new one if I weren't already crafting something I could then go to craft and uh, craft this, the destruction musket, and then the destruction musket would take the place of uh, one of these probably, oh, let's see, I don't know, it would take the place of one of those. Um, all right, so that's the main thing, is get your equipment built up, um, and then the other thing to look at, let's go into the creature, come up here. Um, the other thing to look at is the talent tree. So you want to be sure that you have chosen one of these trees. Don't spread your talent points between the three trees. Choose one and stick with it. And what I did in choosing, and I, I understand they're, they're really about equivalent. One of them is considered to be easiest to get through the early stages but harder to get through the later stages uh, I don't remember which one that is so I, I actually on my multiple accounts have I've chosen different paths for different accounts and and it doesn't seem to be a huge difference to me so um, choose one stick with it uh, and uh, as I go through sometimes you have these branching paths uh, where the rewards on one path don't seem to relate to making my creature stronger I took a different path so instead of choosing satchel slots and infantry defense I chose warrior parry damage and troop health now troop health doesn't correspond to the uh, the creature either but in this case I did get one of them that had to do with uh, the creature strength and so just follow that path through and the further you get in that and the better your armor is the stronger uh, your creature will be notice that if you decide you've done this wrong you want to try something else you do have a reset capability let's see what it yeah it cost you some gold but uh, uh, i'm not going to do that So if you're stuck and want to use some gold, that might be a good way to, uh, uh, to experiment with another, another set of uh, talent path. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you uh, doesn't directly relate to the creature. I've checked it. it I, I wish it did. If you come to Alliance and then Goods Exchange, or if you come to... Your trade station and goods exchange there you can request um, things that you need now I looked here and there's nothing about um, uh, creature equipment and I, that's too bad because I could send you some of my old equipment that would be nice uh, but there's nothing here about that but notice that there are things like uh, guard fragments that you need you can request like if I, if I needed uh, Jussic, 
I could request that and somebody could uh, could donate some Jussic fragments if they did not know any longer need that. Uh, airship parts that that might be valuable to uh, to send instead of uh, recycling. So uh, maybe I'll be able to send some of these to someone who who needs some of that that sort of thing. So um, I guess that's all for now. I'll stop this, post it, and give you the link.